Uh, lawyers for former President Trump are spotted walking out of the Department of Justice while an investigation into whether he mishandled classified documents, you know, the whole Mar-a-Lago situation, that continues. It's unclear what exactly his lawyers were doing at the DOJ. Some believe the team is attempting to work out a deal with prosecutors to avoid charges against the former president, while cases in New York City and Georgia are still pending. One of the former president's attorneys, Alina Haba, is joining me right now. Alina, good morning to you. Thank you for being here. I know you weren't at the DOJ on Monday, but can you give us any insight? Can you give those who are watching right now any insight about the purpose of that meeting? Um, I can't really discuss anything confidential. I could um, basically address what normally happens here, which is that we have, as you know, a corrupt system where we think that there's been mishandling, there's been um, injustice to President Trump, there's been different treatment to President Trump, as opposed to some of the other investigations coming out of the DOJ, or lack thereof, rather. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it would be my assumption that the team went in to explain to them how weak this case would be and how bipartisan it looks and political it looks, and to try and... Um, explain that to them in case they weren't aware of what the optics are of something like this. You are an attorney. We have talked extensively about this particular situation and the fact that documents were found in possession of now President Biden, then President Biden, even documents that date back to his time as a senator, uh, that he still had documents. Uh, former Vice President Mike Pence having classified documents. From a legal standpoint, can you just clear it up for the American people? How big a deal is it that these classified documents were in the possession of these uh, dignitaries, as it were, uh, the chiefs and the leaders of the White House? I can, I can clear it up with a very simple analogy. Hillary Clinton deleted 33,000 emails, but nothing happened there. Those are gone. We can't retrace them. Um, we have NARA, which is a archives, national archives. All their job is is to retain documents, keep them safe, and there is a process for declassifying and classifying. And it's clearly a process that needs to be revisited, in my opinion, because we've seen this across the board with both Democrat and Republican members who have left the White House with some sort of confusion as to what the process is, what is and isn't. Uh, attainable, what, what you can and cannot keep. But I can assure you that there is nothing happening with any of these people that would make it different for President Trump. The only thing different for President Trump is that he's the leading candidate. So it's political. It's, uh, it's very clear that we have people being treated very differently. Mike Pence, as you know, just got relieved of any investigation. It's concerning to me as an American, uh, not President Trump's attorney, because this isn't my case, but as an American that we are seeing different treatment for different people, and um, that just shouldn't be. So it's concerning. I hope they don't bring charges. I think that would really cause concern for the American people and the justice system. How big of a deal is that leak of the recent recording of former Vez uh, President Trump speaking about a document? I believe it involved Iran or Iraq. I, I want to say Iran, uh, but there was some media speculation that it was saying that this was not a declassified document, that he talked about it in 2021 and it was still classified. You know, if he refers to them as classified or declassified, and, and I don't know what was in his state of mind at that moment, but to me, they are classified documents that he declassified. I would never refer to something that as a classified document that I declassified in the White House before I left the White House. So it's pretty innocuous to me. I, I don't really um, see the value in that other than a headline for the left-wing media. Um, as far as I'm concerned, we know, and you stated, Mike Pence, we have Clintons, Biden, I mean, everybody, Obama, had them in a storage facility um, that was by uh, McDonald's. You know, we, we've seen this across the board. They are allowed to take what was once classified documents, declassify them, and keep them. Um, the process is obviously broken, but this does not and should not warrant the kind of treatment that President Trump has gotten. Alina Haba, thank you very much for making time to speak with us here on Morning in America. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.